746 on Wisconsin's Morning News. Brewers 360 is sponsored by Outdoor Living Unlimited. And on Tuesdays, we are joined by the manager of your Milwaukee Brewers, Craig Council. Actually, don't be late for the game, Craig. We just had the the uh, number wrong. It's a 6.07 first pitch today in Toronto. How do we arrive at that odd time? Uh, not my department, right. I would say. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> Uh, that, you know, it's, that's probably TV based. I think they, everybody says their game time is kind of according to TV. Anything interesting about the, the visit to Canada? I mean, you are in a foreign country guys, uh, probably, I bet you got some guys who are making that trip for the first time. Yeah. I, mean, I think, uh, this is a city, this is a great city and a city we don't come to very often. So I think everybody was, uh, we, we had a night off for you know, last night, uh, got here relatively early, um, and uh, a couple full days to explore a walk around and explore a beautiful city. Craig, talk me through Friday night. Scary moment there in the in the dugout with Willie Adamas. He's, he's a catalyst for your guys' team. He always has the energy. It was a scary moment, a hit with the line drive. I, you know, talk me through that moment uh, from a team perspective. Uh, how he's doing now? Can we maybe get an update on him and and, and when we can possibly see him back out on the uh, on the diamond? Yeah, def- definitely a very scary moment. Um, you know, the there, there's risks with playing baseball, and there's there's a hard ball that's hit at high velocities, and that was just a terrible accident um, and just in the wrong place, unfortunately. Um, all things considered, he got very lucky. Um, looks like he's been in a in a fight. Um, got a big black eye, but. He's doing well. Um, we saw him yesterday and Sunday and yesterday, and, and everything is, you know, not not doing activity right now, but but um, feels great. So as the next couple of days go on, uh, we'll probably have a better idea that um, he'll just start some kind of light activity and, and see how that makes him feel, and, and we'll get a good sense from uh, from that as to when he can come back. How is everyone feeling in that dugout now, Skip? Anyone a little skittish? You got to change your behavior a little bit now? Well, I mean, it's not, it's, you know, it's just part of the job, really. I mean, you're, you're going to be in the dugout for the rest of, for the rest of the season and it's, you're, you're a little bit vulnerable. It just, it's one of those things that never happens. It, it rarely happens and it, and it hit the wrong spot. So it's, you know, it's just part of it. And uh, you just, you got to kind of move past it and keep going. For those earliest days of youth baseball, there was always that one coach or whoever it was who really loved to yell heads up. <laughs> or what, you remember you remember Jim Cullen, right? Oh, Eric, yeah, right? Yeah, and yeah. guy we used to work with, Craig. He said he had a, a coach back in the day who used to just yell, "Don't get hurt!" <laughs> Any time that ball would fly in. Yeah, I mean there there's there, this is there's no time to yell that on this stuff. <laughs> right? No, that was a shot. A little faster than that. <laughs> so so it's uh, you just hope that stuff doesn't happen, and you hate to see it happen anywhere. Three in Toronto here for your Milwaukee Brewers. Craig, thanks very much. Best of luck there in Toronto. All right. Take care, guys.